and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton. We're talking about the Beatles for the month of July, and we're getting toward the end of the catalog. We're talking about the 11th album by the Beatles, released on September 26th, 1969, on Apple Records, the band's own label. This is Abbey Road. Um... And this is the uh, last album, actually, that, that all uh, band members were there and, and participated. Uh, and, uh, and the last album uh, where, you know, the Beatles proper. You probably figured out by tomorrow, I'm not giving anything away. We're going to talk about Let It Be. And uh, a lot of folks, you know, wonder about that. We're, we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but we're going to talk about Abbey Road just as, as an album. Now, a lot of people regard this as uh, one of the greatest albums the Beatles ever released. I have my own thoughts about that, and and I actually have a video about it on my other channel, so go check that out. Uh, probably not uh, a popular opinion, but uh, I do like this album quite a bit and enjoy it, so I'll go ahead and say that. Now, the big uh, hit from this album, or hits rather, uh, the George Harrison song, Something, which was um, George's first uh, A-side uh, on a Beatles, for the Beatles. And, and rightfully so, it's a beautiful uh, ballad. Uh, and th this album really is where George Harrison just comes into his own as a songwriter. As aside from Something, uh, the other uh, great George Harrison composition from this album, Here Comes the Sun. And the other big hit uh, that was on the Something single the John Lennon original "Come Together." Um, it was a they, both of those were big hits uh, on the singles charts. Now this is a rock album, and it's really um, the Beatles kind of coming back to being just a, a rock band. But uh, there's influences of, of blues, pop music, as well as uh, a little bit of progressive uh, sound to it. Uh, there's a lot of use of the of the Moog synthesizer on here, as well as the uh, Everybody loves it, the Leslie Speaker. Um, side one, uh, you know, famously they said that this album was was sort of a compromise between Lennon and McCartney. Uh, a little hint to let it be, it wasn't a pleasant experience and, and there was a lot of fighting. But they decided to uh, put all that aside to, to come together ha, and make an album. Uh, and so side one supposedly was to appease John Lennon who wanted to do just, you know, rock and roll songs. And side two was, was Paul McCartney's baby. There's a, there's a medley of tracks on there. Uh, the first two tracks on the album come together in something. Then McCartney, uh, I don't know if I agree with the, with the whole side one, side two thing because Paul McCartney contributes, uh, greatly to side one. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Uh, sort of a silly song with a very dark subject matter. Uh, oh, Darling, uh, Paul McCartney uh, giving a very heartfelt, simple lyric, uh, R&B style. Uh, Octopus's Garden, Ringo doing a children's song. Octopus's Garden is a nice companion to Yellow Submarine. And then uh, Lennon's I Want You, She's So Heavy. Uh, fantastic bass line. Uh, just, um, just a driving, driving song, and it builds and builds and builds. Uh, and so side two kicks off with the with the lovely "Here Comes the Sun," uh, because uh, the 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 Beatles do the Beach Boys, um, great great harmony vocal harmony, and this is where the the medley comes in. And again, this is where I kind of disagree with the whole John versus Paul thing because John contributes greatly to the medley on side two. So if John was disinterested in doing something like that, then why did he give so much uh, good material to the medley? But you get never give me your money um, is is Paul McCartney and I love 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 when that song kind of kicks in uh, with the out of college money spent uh, line in that it's just it's just a it's just a great transition uh, from this piano ballad into this sort of uh, rollicking number. Uh, Sun King goes into Mean Mr. Mustard, John Lennon, Polythene Pam, John Lennon. Again, he's all over side two. Uh, she came in through the bathroom window, famously covered by Joe Cocker. Great Paul McCartney uh, uh, vocal. Uh, and then the, the big medley that closes the album out, uh, Golden Slumbers, um, Little Ballad, uh, Lullaby, into uh, builds up into Carry That Weight, all the way through the triple guitar lead of uh, Lennon 
and McCartney and Harrison trading off lead guitar licks into uh, the end, the famous line, in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Album ends. Boom, it comes back. Little bonus track, Her Majesty. A little little bitty uh, short clip. Um, really, really nice album and um, and holds up well. Um, probably the purest uh, late period just, just rock album the Beatles would do. Uh, and so... You know, the Beatles were the best at pretty much everything they did, and this album is no exception. Um, Abbey Road, today's daily record. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton75. Um, can hear from you guys. Again, check out the other channel. In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another daily record. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.